Okay, so several, several things that we talked about played out in today's analysis. Let's go ahead and just validate the potentials for the coming days for COSM. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a COSM technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this happy Thursday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community and Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, so... Let's just see what chart we're in right now. This is the this is the daily chart that we were looking at, right, regarding a uh, right angled triangle that we uh, pretty much said that we we're going to be facing in uh, a resistance touch, right, in the coming days. And we noticed that that resistance touch was very confluent to a few targets. Okay, so first of all, we noticed that the not 382 was about 365. The price action came up to about 375. The other thing that we noticed here was that at about three dollars and 54 cents or three dollars and 50 cents was the resistance of the 90 percent to the apex of the triangle right so we also noticed that so another thing that we noticed was remember guys we just have to kind of remember where we were in order for us to determine where we're going right another thing that we touched on was the fact that we were in a process of mean reverting right so this is uh regarding the uh eight hour critical contraction back test that we actually ran volatility versus momentum right so we uh, determined we determined that we were at a contractive phase and we're starting to mean revert right so now if we were going to look at the mean on the eight hour time frame then we we brought up our uh, our mean reversion tool and it told us that uh three dollars and about 54 cents was the mean right so the mean of course changed with the price action today and it was at 349 so very interesting that we actually closed there in a few platforms of course uh, it says 347 here in the algorithm from trading view but it is 349 from a lot of places so th th we did get that right we rejected right off of the mean band just like we were talking about and we're closing right at the mean band okay so that's that's already looked at and we're good okay so that was a huge amount of confluence here that's how we were able to see that so now i have a few more things to talk to you about because we got we got, we got a five-day closure okay a candle closure yesterday and what's interesting about that is because it fired off another signal. Okay, so now before we get to that, though, notice this on this large descending triangle, right? We uh, we have another falling we, we another triangle, but this is a falling wedge. Okay, so the falling wedge is a bullish statement as well. Okay, so now what I want to point out is this. Okay, so if we were to be breaking out out of the sixty five percent, which could be tomorrow. Let's just say, right? So either tomorrow or the next day. So if it were tomorrow, right? So we take a trend line from the top side of the triangle to the very bottom of the triangle and we apply it to the supposed area of breakout, which is typically 65 to 70% to the apex of the triangle, right? So it takes us to a target of $5.74, right? If I, if I take it out like this, there you go. So $5.74 is where it's taking us, right? So already notice, okay? So just notice real fast that the not 618 is located at 561, right? Okay, so we already have we already have a geometric confluence here. Okay, so that's that's already good. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what that 573 could be as well. Okay, so let's see if I have it here somewhere for you. But we'll go ahead and just pull it up just real fast. And if I can't see it, oh my goodness, if I can't see it, it's okay, you guys. I'll bring it up in another perspective, right? So I think it may have been the five-day uh, mean reversion. There we go. <laughs> so it is the five-day mean reversion. Go ahead and notice that 573 is the, is, the, is the reversion, the mean reversion that we're actually facing right now. Okay, so 573 is on the five-day. All right, so now let's go ahead and take it just come back to this right so 574 is the price objective from the psychological formation okay so now the reversion variant is telling us that 573 is the mean so now if we go to volatility versus momentum on the five day go ahead and notice now we upon the closure of it look we have five days and 18 hours the the candle just started today okay so upon that well my apologies upon that closure we got the uh, we got a couple things okay notice the curvature on the fast time frame the three-day exponential 
it's already correcting from an oversold percentile. And on volatility, go ahead and notice that we started to contract. I've mentioned this several times before, but whenever we're at critical volatility, whether it be expansive or contractive, and start uh, either a contraction phase to the downside or an expansion phase to the upside, this usually means that it's a mean reversion. Okay, so the mean reversion being right here at the 50% mark. This is the five day. So we're getting the signal from the triangle telling us that we're getting close to that 65 to 70 percent to the apex and the price objective is 573 then we take our tool and look at the mean the mean reversion tool right and it's telling us that 573 is the mean uh and then also we come back here and look at the five day volatility versus momentum contracting into the mean Guys, the, the <laughs> huge confluence here, okay? And, uh, and another thing, yes, I ran another statistical backtest on the five-day critical expansion into contraction volatility versus momentum backtest, okay? So go ahead and notice here that, yes, we only have four iterations throughout the entire trading history of the COSM asset on the five-day, okay? Yes, of course. I mean, it's a five-day. It's going to take forever. So out of these four, guess what? Four of them were, have been correctly guessed to the upside, giving us an average upside accuracy of 100% with an average upside thrust of 162 spot 05% over the span of a day that I don't even want to mention. Okay, so if we, here's more, guys, <laughs> this is getting stupid. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me just show you this because this is getting a little ridiculous. I mean, for real. Okay, now check this out, boys and girls. All right, 162 spot 05% added from the price action where we are currently, that takes us to where? It takes us to $9.14, okay? Check this out. This is the three-day, this is the eight-hour historical, I'm sorry, this is the eight-hour cr uh, critical contraction to expansion, meaning from contraction to expansion, right? So we're, we're mean reverting here, okay? And this was the back test that I showed you yesterday. And go ahead and notice that momentum now has pitched officially to the upside. It's moonshotting, right? Very good. We already had seen that the possibility was going to come in today for this. Okay, so now applying the 206.895% to the upside from the price action yesterday, because that's where the signal was, go ahead and notice where it takes us. $9.14, boys and girls. What is <laughs> hit that like button right now? Make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to join the Arca Bulls trading community because you guys are not gonna get this confluence anywhere else. You guys, my goodness. All right, so the five-day volatility versus momentum back test, which has nothing. I mean, it's so far, so far away from the eight-hour back test in immediate short term with a 100 percent upside accuracy, nine four. 14 to the penny and we have the eight hour back test 914 to the penny guys this is ridiculous okay the targets are absolutely suggesting something massive coming in for the cosm asset i have no idea what it is you guys already know i do not practice fundamental analysis i've heard some stuff about acquisitions and zip doctor and and who knows what else right all good <laughs> that's that's all good but i don't worry about those things i worry about the math Math, okay, I worry about the statistics behind this, okay, which by the way, they are statistics, they're not certainties, okay, you guys. So now let's go ahead and continue on the the the, the other part of the analysis, which is the last part, okay, the, the divergence chart. This is divergence. Uh, it is the price. Uh, it is it is the opposition of price action versus momentum, and momentum represented by this indicator RSI, relative strength index. Okay, so yesterday we did notice that we had two primary drives of regular bullish divergence on the eight-hour chart, and we had also said that they weren't confirmed just yet. Well, guess what? Today it was confirmed. So now we have two drives that are active of of, of primary regular bullish divergence. Okay, to the upside. So this is very good all right you guys yes we have a little bit of a pivot a, a little bit of a pivot right here but know for a fact that we have the 14 day simple moving average below us as a form of support before continuing on to that upside okay so now let's go ahead uh, that's just another validator for an upside right so let's go ahead and now <laughs> look at the rest of the time frame rsi okay because this is incredibly important as it would allow some opportunity for some longs to kind of get there right so 
Uh, the 30 minute immediate short term time frame, yes, it is below the 14 day simple moving average. But notice how both of them are pivoted towards the upside and both of them are within the gravitational zone of the bull weakness percentile. Very bullish. OK, you guys, we have a little bit of a short term retracement suggestion here on the four hour time frame, too. But know that we have the, the gravitational zone of the bear weakness percentile located right down here. So that very well could push us to the upside. Sa uh, same thing with the eight hour. Okay, we are in the gravitational zone right now. So very likely to actually reject uh, continue the continuation to the downside. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm telling you that is because of the further, I'm sorry, be, because of the uh, following time frames. This is the daily, uh, this is the, tw I'm sorry, the 12 hour. And now look at the daily. This is the daily. And now look at the buy daily right <laughs> and now look at the freaking five day the five day is what's most important right now because the five day statistical back test already fired for a potential upside coming in and we have now just made a very bullish cross above the 14 day simple moving average and approaching the gravitational zone of the bear strength percentile okay which would essentially pit up you know push us right into the upside and and then it, this would actually be us succeeding finally that 14 day simple moving average which we've been below low since about uh actually man about the second of march okay so yes it is almost a month of being below this thing and we're finally succeeding it and it looks like the buy daily time frame is in that process or if not already started okay we're actually just right at that support level at that resistance level okay so very likely we can actually succeed these moving averages for the first time in a long time all right you guys so everything is pointed up what i'm saying here is, is that there is now a shorter time frame potential for a reloading coming in tomorrow okay so if we were able to just push into the 12 hour time frame we can see what the price action is looking like right so all right so now uh actually you know what we can actually go down to a four hour and see what that loading zone could even be right so let's pull up some averages and see what we got below us okay so we do have the nine day i'm sorry the seven day exponential moving average located i know it's very dim right now right so let me just go ahead and do this for you uh, i can't see it let's see here we go the nine day exponential moving average like we just said right let's just go ahead and make it a little bit more visible just like that and uh, also change the color just a little bit there we go so we'll leave it just a little bit brighter very very likely we can actually come back down to that nine day exponential moving average even actually you know what maybe even the seven day so let's go ahead and just uh, add the seven day moving average into that as well and just see what those potentials could be okay so the seven day moving average of course it, <laughs> it would be located right where the nine is right so very likely we can come back to about 327 before a huge bounce to the upside and i'm talking about a very very low area here okay so best case scenario is this i don't think we have the liquidity to even reach that but i mean the, the higher likelihood would honestly be at a geez wow yeah yeah the on honestly the higher likelihood would be between about 341 and about 313 uh lots of support within this area right here right so the moving averages may very well be adjusted to that target later on in the or actually in the early pre-market right so uh yeah essentially this is kind of what i'm looking at right over here i'm going to draw that uh, uh that resistance uh area so just like this uh yeah, right down into this area. So you can see it in blue right here. 337 to about 340 would be essentially the loading zone, the lowest, lowest possibility and best case scenario, 327, which I highly doubt, right? But that would be essentially that area that we can focus on for tomorrow's session before a continuation to the upside. I mean, we're we're looking at we're looking at statistics and cycle and psychology and and technicals and i guess fundamentals too because people are talking about those acquisitions and whatever else right so this is kind of turning into an a plus trade <laughs> and i've never really said that out loud right a plus trades i've only done about one or two in the last like months right but this is essentially giving us that potential cosm is very very bullish right now please 
Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be just fine. Okay, you guys, please remember to refer to the links in the description below where you'll find the ARC Masters trading course email. If you would like to reserve your seat, there are still seats available for the second track coming in uh, in April, right? So also you'll find the Discord uh trading community link there and twitter all right you guys but with that said i wish you well a very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana one more thing guys remember i'm not i'm i'm gonna keep it transparent here i'm actually not long cosm i'm trading gtii so just just in case any of you are curious i do not have any active position in cosm this is all for you all right you guys well thank you so much and uh like i said i'll catch you at the bell manana audios